It's a gathering that has brought together lawyers, diplomats and members of the academia to the Kwara State University. They are here to brainstorm on how to end the crisis between farmers and herdsmen and they are quick to identify the fact that the country is going through difficult times with a level of insecurity. It is no longer news that Nigeria is going through a difficult time. Our country is being confronted with problems of insurgency, unemployment, kidnapping, militancy, economic downturn, and more importantly, Esmen farmers conflict among others. A former United Nations Under Secretary General, who is the lead speaker, traces the history of the crisis to the non implementation of the provisions of the 1965 Grazing Reserve Law. We have so many crises in this country, of which this is one. And this could be the most serious because it touches our lives, our existence as, a, as people and also as a country. This issue of the conflict between the pastoralists and the crop farmers is beyond academic discussion. It is real, it is pressing, and it is essential that we find solutions that works, that is practical, and yet uh, far-sighted. We have a total of 417 grazing reserves all over the country, out of which only 113 have been gazetted. You see, if we implement laws that are already in the books, we will be in a much better situation now. Why not gazette all the grazing reserves that are in the, uh, all over the country, of which 417, of which only 113 have been gazetted? Senior advocate of Nigeria, Yusuf Ali, while speaking on a paper titled Constitutional Provisions Guiding the Use of Land, asked Nigerians to stop classifying the killer herdsmen as Fulani, but rather treat those arrested like other criminals instead of lumping a whole ethnic group as killers. The better we identify exactly who are the culprits. And then let's treat them as you treat any other criminal. Rather than profile and sentence a whole ethnic group. A major consensus here is for politicians to stop politicizing the crisis. Rather, they are asking for a political solution that will not escalate the tension already created.